cooking in this cast iron Dutch oven. Now this is my second time cooking in it, baby. I, I started cooking in the first day. I have an official video on how to make smothered chicken, but let me give you a tip that I forgot to mention in the video. When you're making the roux, the gravy, I'm sorry, um, you want to use warm water so it doesn't change the temperature of this hot pan. You don't want to put cold water in here, warm. I'm going to put a little bit there. I'm gonna, I want you to see how it thickens up. See that? See how that's sticking up like that? Now, in that video, I think I used chicken stock. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use water. See how that's already thickening up? Add some more water. And look at it. Look at it thickening up. This is my fried chicken over there. Yes. Let me, let me zoom in some. There we go. All right. Look at that. Now, I'm going to add a little bit more. Oh, hell. Garlic bread. All right, that's good enough. All right. I'm going to leave this water right here. And I'm going to start placing my fried chicken. Now, this chicken isn't cooked all the way because it's going to continue to cook in here. All right. And this will be done in about 15 more minutes. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? I rarely make mashed potatoes, maybe two to three times a year. For that reason, I don't even have a potato masher, so we're gonna use a hand mixer. And I use half and half to make mine. And there we go, quick mashed potatoes. Another YouTuber, I saw her do this. I think she's one of those homestead prepping. But look at that. Very quick, done. And here we are, plated up. I got one piece, cause it's so late. And he got two pieces. Oh yes, oh yes, yes. Y'all, we are at- Next stop, by the, by the bro. Next stop, you know what? <laughs> you heard what he said, y'all. Next stop by the bras. I need to get me some. Girl, I need queen size, size four. <laughs> I need to get me some new stockings. I mean, this is all extra. I don't need none of this, girl. No, I need like regular stockings. Why do they have to be so extra? One pair, that's what I need. That's it. I know, I love it. Look at this, oh boo boo. Look at that rose gold. This is so pretty, but look, I already have stuff to, I already have stuff to wrap your Go present backwards. with. Go backwards? We gotta go find some elderberry juice. You think? No. Y'all, we are looking for elderberry juice. Um, does Walmart sell elderberry juice? I don't feel like going all the way to Whole Foods because I know I, I, I would spend money. Y'all, we found it. We found the elderberry juice, but so weird. It was on the the cold owl, not the supplements owl. I need to go get some peppermint soap too. Go right. Let me pick up some peppermint bar soap. This is their little section where they have all natural stuff. And Miss Jackson for feminine hygiene, which I will be having a video on this. I use peppermint soap.
this is the... Oh, Lord. Wish you a Merry Christmas for the Happy New Year. <laughs> this is the Christmas tree all lit up. So pretty. And again, I got these little woodsy um, ornaments, fabric ornaments from CVS for only a dollar. Very, very cute. Just a little pop of color red. That's it. But it's mostly neutral. I need to go to Hobby Lobby and get Richard some more feathers. Um, Rick, where are Richard? The black angel is over here. Poor she matches. Richard. Poor Richard, I know. She's too Poor. big to go on top. Hmm? Too little to go on top, poor Richard. I don't care. You don't, you know, JB, you should care about Richard. <laughs> Let's show them all the way around. Oh, it's a picture of a pinch of it so bad. I'm watching, y'all have to excuse the background, all these pillows and stuff. I'm watching um, Live PD. Y'all, Live PD is like cops on steroids. My husband and I watch Live PD all the time. Um, this man is, sorry y'all, this man is attacking a cop car. They giving him plenty of times to stop. Lord, he said, I'm going back to Michigan. You can kiss my ASS. Baby, you ain't going to Michigan. Not, not in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Anyway, y'all, it is Saturday. JB didn't want to do anything today. We had a choice of doing a, a couple of things. Um, he's in karate now, so they do have karate classes this morning. I don't blame him for wanting to not do karate because he did karate twice in a row. Um, he did so well yesterday. Uh, JB can be sometimes a little unsure of himself. So the first day he didn't do good at all, but yesterday he did an amazing job. So I think that today he was like, okay, mama, I gave you two days in a row, which is okay because we're going to go Monday and Tuesday next week since we're off. Um, the first day of my vacation, I don't know if I, don't know if I mentioned that earlier, girl, we're going to be home for 11 days straight. And yes, Teresa, I just read Teresa, you're coming on the last vlog. You are absolutely right. My husband sat up here and was talking about how he was off. He wasn't, he wasn't going to be, um, I'm sorry, that he had to work last Thanksgiving. He ended up being off. But this year, I was going to plan on cooking on Thanksgiving with or without you. Whoa. Okay, y'all, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Thanksgiving menu is still on and popping, y'all. So today, we're not doing anything relaxing. I am cooking a little bit of food. I had, what did I have for breakfast? Cha can't even remember. That's how insignificant it was. So I'm cooking. I'll show y'all what I'm cooking. And I don't know if I told you, I think I've mentioned to y'all before, I have a Cajun living next to me. Cajun, I should pronounce my words, girl. Um, she's from New Orleans, Miss um, Jones. She's such a sweetheart. She's an older, older woman. I think she's in her late 60s. She's been retired. Uh, she may be in her early 70s, uh, but I think she's in her late 60s. Let me not age the woman. And so a couple of weeks ago, I saw her, cause I said speak to her and I saw her going, she was leaving the house and she's like, I'm going to go get something to eat. You know, since my roommate, cause she rooms with another older woman, um, since she works two jobs, she doesn't cook anymore. I said, well, I cook almost every day and I'll be more than happy to bring you a plate of food. And I could tell she was a little hesitant and I, I reminded her, I, I'm, I'm from East Texas, New Shreveport, so I can't burn. <laughs> and she started laughing. She said, well, I would love to try your food. Oh, beautiful woman, I love their accent out in New Orleans, but she's an, she's an actual Cajun. If you don't know what a Cajun is, um, those of you who are not from the US, let me go get my potatoes, y'all, hold on, my food. I want you to look up a video of Justin, the Cajun cook. Um, he used to be on PBS, y'all remember Justin? But um, another one is Jesse Duplantis. Child, I have seen Jesse Duplantis in person and he is a mess. He's, I like Jesse, but sometimes he can be joking too much on the pulpit and I, I need for you to get to the word. So anyway, I cook enough food for at least four adults most of the time, you guys. And there's always enough food for my husband to have leftovers, me to have leftovers, and still a little bit more food left because we end up breaking. I, I've gotten to the point to where don't be wasting anything. So I noticed that when we're done eating, we're still raking in the trash can enough food for one person. So I'm like, let me go ahead and fix her a plate on the side fix our plate, and then it's still leftovers for my husband now the next day, so 
I sent her something over uh, that she can stew. I showed you guys, and she was she loved it. She said, "Oh, that was nice." <laughs> so last night. I fixed her because we had well more than enough and I knew we'd be going out to eat today. So I fixed her um, a plate of the smothered chicken and mashed potatoes chow. Her, I said, do you remember smothered chicken? Because she doesn't cook anymore, okay? I think she's she's disabled. So long as I'm a short girl, the what I'm cooking today, I'm going to fix her um, a plate too. You know, just the smallest things can really make someone. I can tell that she's really appreciative of that. Child, this man just told me I have, to, I have 15 minutes to get ready. On what planet? Don't mess with me. It would take me 20 minutes to just beat my face along. 15 minutes. Type of foolery. Let's make it work, y'all. Ryan Little. <laughs> The small one is like, yeah, no, no, it's, yeah, you're right. It's twelve dollars, and I think the large one's like fourteen or something. Yeah. Yeah. And those drinks you could get two for the price of a swamp thing. Exactly. Very interesting. And this is, this is no fault of, of Conan's by any means. It's not a fault at all. It's just funny to kind of expose that aspect. I haven't been able to get in this dress in about eh. It's been a couple of years, and I have some room here. <laughs> what my hair is looking like. We are. <laughs> three weeks into a wash day. Yeah, we need to go ahead and, and wash my hair. Simple makeup, simple earrings. I do it real simple for church because I'm country and yeah. Y'all see my boots? Oh yeah, they see your boots. Ciao. I mean, I have a, some other cover, black sweaters and stuff, but I figured I look real school teacher or something. Come here, Jake. Oh no, don't scoot on the floor with those hands on. Come on. Hey. He's so cute. Got my bow tie. Got your bow tie. <laughs> Got my shirt. Got your shirt on. Oh, yes, looking real, real dapper. Hmm. Looking real cute, my love. <laughs> what shoes do you want to wear, darling? I think I'm gonna wear these shoes, but I don't know. So Here. let's put these on. These are blue. Put these blue shoes on. Did you just put, give me that camera. Oh, oh, Boots. I got these from Target a yeah, while back. Yeah, I got these from Amazon. Okay, you know what, no we didn't. Hey you guys, ooh girl, look at that face y'all. I've been eating way too many carbs and all that little weight that I lost while I was sick, ganked it all back. Just from eating bread and potatoes and pasta and cream and bananas. But that's besides the point. We just got back from eating at, um, I had Panera Bread. A salad. Raisin cake. You know who. Hold on, y'all. I feel like something's in my teeth. Why didn't y'all tell me? Looking like a, a, the salad was all up in my mouth. Um. So, yeah, after this, now we're going to go to the Dollar Tree, which is right across the street. Got to figure out how to get over there because we're the 17s right here. And I got to get home and wash my hair and crank out a hair video for you help us. Uh, but it's so funny, y'all. Look. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. Um, and so just a second ago, there was a, a girl at a table with all her, I guess all her friends or fa and family members. And she looked at me, she's like, you're so pretty. I'm like, thank you. I thank you, you know, I said thank you real quick. And went on and got my, my food. And she's like, she's like, you're so beautiful. You look like a doll. I'm like, girl, I wish I was a doll. Then I wouldn't have to pay any bills. <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> My budget at the Dollar Tree is gonna be eight dollars. 
eight dollars, JB. You. <laughs> yeah, now we're at Michael's. Yeah. Fifty percent off, but these things are like ten dollars each. Yeah, we're we're in a older section of Phoenix, and these stores are not as nice as ours. Come on, baby, look. This is so adorable. Greeny would love this. See this? I love this. No, baby, you can't get in there. No, JB, that's on display. 